If you're ready for this story, put your hands in your lap and your voices are off. Uh, ready? So I bet this will sound really familiar. I can't wait to read different versions this week. Once there was a little girl who was loved by all who knew by all who knew her, but most of all by her grandmother, who could not do enough for her. Once the grandmother sent the girl a cloak with a red velvet hood. The little girl was so pleased with the cloak that she cherished it. Everybody show me cherished. She loved it. Yes. And she wore it every day. So she became known as Little Red Riding Hood. One day her mother said to her, Little Red Riding Hood, your grandmother is feeling sick. I would like you to go visit her. Take her some of some of the cakes we baked yesterday. They will do good for her. They will do her good. Go quickly before she it gets too warm. But remember to stay on the path and do not stop along the way. What were her mother's directions? Carly. Not to stay on the path and don't take no stop and to hurry, but before it gets hot. Good. I like how you added all those directions. Very good. I will do just as you say, Mother, promised Little Red Riding Hood. But I think they were confused because, like, why did they say it gets before it gets too hot? So I think it may just be, like, if you know how it gets too hot, it's hard to really, like, walk and stay outside. Maybe that's, I'm thinking that's my guess. Maybe it'll get too hot. My guess is maybe the sun will heat it up. And, and she had some goodies. Yeah. They remember they're packing some goodies, so if they get too hot, they probably won't be too good anymore. Yeah. Make sense? No. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, the ice Good ice question. Ice. I'll do just as you say, Mother promised Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood started on her way. Her grandmother lived in a house in the woods, a half hour's walk from the village. So a half hour is about from... Well, almost as long as recess. It's so that long of walking. 30 hours. So it's 30 minutes. Half an, half an hour is 30 minutes, which is almost as long as recess. Ten time. Less. So remember, so imagine walking for that long. It's That's a, about as long as the walk. I have my dad half an hour to get from America to Germany. Okay. So I bet a little bit longer than that, but yes. Right? No. So. Ooh. Where should our attention go to? Oh, how do we active listen? Your eyes are? Oh, ears? Voices? Bodies? Very good. Okay, Little Red Riding Hood had only just entered the woods when she came upon a wolf. The wolf longed to eat Little Red Riding Hood for lunch. But Little Red Riding Hood did not know what a wicked animal he was. So she was not afraid of him. So the is the wolf a good character or a bad character? Bad, bad. bad character. But does Little Red Riding Hood know that? No. no. Good morning, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf. Good morning, wolf, she answered kindly. And where are you going so early? And where are you going so early, he asked. To my granny's house. And what's that in your basket? Some cakes we baked yesterday. Grandmother is sick. The cakes will make her feel better. And where does your grandmother live? So why why might the wolf want to know? Why is why is he asking so many questions? Sophia. to trick her too? Carly? Maybe because he wants to pretend to be the grandma and oh. he can like pop out and make it where he, he can eat the food or Oh, it seems like you've heard this a version of this story before. So in the woods, a short distance from here, yeah, there's a cottage under a tree, under three big oak trees. The little red riding had just shared exactly where her grandma lived. Was that a good idea or a bad idea? Yeah. Bad idea. Do we tell strangers where where no. people live? No. That's probably not the best idea. Mmm, said the wolf as he thought to himself, what a tasty morsel this little girl would be. But she's not big enough for a meal. I must find a way to eat her and her grandmother too. Whoa. So, me too. What care 
characters have we met so far? What characters have we met? Hey, Thank you for raising your hand. Well, no, no, no extra noises. I've called my tail Tinsley. Go ahead. So, um, so tell me you can wear a horse and then, like, and then Little Red Riding Hood said, so, um, what do you want? Oh, so we're, we're asking what character, not what happened. Oh, wolf. The wolf? Little Red Riding Hood, I heard you say. And Grandma. So we talked about Grandma about how we met Grandma yet? Yeah, no. We haven't met her yet, but we've talked about her. And who else? The mom. Her mom, good. Well, we did In the house. The mom had, had gave, remember at the beginning, her mom gave her the advice. Yeah, but we haven't seen her yet. Yes, in our pictures, but we, she was a character. Not a main character, but she was a side character. Ready? Um, so where is Little Red Riding Hood going? Her grandma. Her grandma. Well, I'm looking for her hands. Hallie, where is she going? To her grandma's house. Why? Why is she going there? To give her the cake to make her feel better. To give her the cakes to make her feel better. What does the wolf want to do? What does the wolf want to do, Zaylee? Eat her. Eat her and who? Grandma. And her grandma, my gracious. Okay. The wolf walked along beside Little Red Riding Hood for a while. Then he said, why, look at all the pretty flowers. Why don't you stop to rest and pick some of them? You're hurrying along as if you were late for school. Yet the birds are singing and everything is so pleasant here in the woods. Little Red Riding Hood looked up and saw the sunlight dancing in the leaves of the trees. She saw the lovely flowers all around her, and she thought, I am sure Grandmother would be pleased if I took her a bunch of flowers. Forgetting what her, she promised her mother, she left the path and went out of her way into the woods to pick some flowers. Uh oh yeah. So, each time she picked one, she saw others even prettier farther on. And so she stayed straight deeper and deeper into the woods. So, what direction did her mo did she, did she not follow of her mother's grace? Um, her mother said, "Stay on the path," and um, she went into the woods. No, she went into the woods. And do not stop. And do not stop. And she did not stop. Very good. Okay, so. As for the wolf, he hurried straight to Grandmother's cottage and knocked on the door. Who's there? said a little voice. It is I, Little Red Riding Hood, said the wolf, trying to sound like a little girl. Oh, lift the, la lift the latch and let yourself in, dear, said the old woman. Like a boy. I am too weak to get out of bed. The wolf lifted the latch and swung open the door. Before Grandmother could realize what was happening, the wolf gobbled her up in one mouthful. <laughs> so what just happened? He ate her. He ate her. What was that for? Okay. That was for the Oh, shh. That was for the Okay. Just go and knock on the door, okay? Okay. So, he ate her. That was a, he, and he tricked her, right? He said he was who? Little Red Riding Hood. Then the sly wolf dressed himself in her nightgown and nightcap. With a wicked grin, he got into the bed and pulled up the covers. It was quite the disguise. We, 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 we learned about a disguise. And what, what other story did we talk about a disguise? Does anyone remember? What story, Mason? The wolf and the sheep's clothing. Very good. The wolf and the sheep's clothing. the sheep and the wolf's clothing. This is a wolf and a grandma's clothing. <laughs> right? So, Lily, turn around. Turn back around. So, a disguise we learned about is clothes that you would wear so people wouldn't recognize you. So, why might, might the wolf be dressing as the grandmother? Why am I she? Evelyn. So, um, so he, so he can get close to the red riding hood and. I am really gonna say. 
And ears. Good. So who wants to get close to her? Ooh, let's see what happens. Meanwhile, little, little Red Riding Hood had picked all the flowers she could carry and found her way back to the path. She walked on briefly until she came to Grandmother's house. She was surprised to find the door open. As she stepped inside, she felt very strange. Oh dear, she said to herself, this morning I was so glad to be going to see my grandmother. Why do I feel so frightened now? Have you ever felt, just all of a sudden felt strange? Yeah. Not your head, if you've, all, if you've all of a sudden just kind of felt like something was off. Like something's not right here. So, but she took a deep breath in and called out, Good morning, Grandmother. But there was no answer. She went up to the bed. There she saw her grandmother, or so she thought. The wolf had pulled up the covers, had pulled up the covers under his chin and pulled the nightcap down to his eyes. Little Red Riding Hood thought her grandmother looked very strange indeed. Oh, Granny, she said, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear, said the wolf. Hmm, said Little Red Riding Hood. Granny must be very sick indeed, for her voice has gotten much deeper than it used to be. Huh? And Granny, what big eyes you have. Oh, the better to see you with, my dear. And Grandmother, what big teeth you have. The better to eat you with, cried the wolf as he sprang out of bed and swallowed Little Red Riding Hood in one gulp. After his meal, the wolf was feeling very stuffed. He lay down in the bed and went to sleep and began to snore very loudly. A hunter who was passing by the cottage heard the story. My, he thought, the old woman sounds terrible. I better look inside and check on her. The hunter walked inside and saw the wolf, and instantly he noticed the wolf's big belly and realized the wolf had eaten the old woman. He knew he better set her free. The hunter set them free, and, and out jumped Little Red Riding Hood and Granny. Oh, I'm so grateful and thankful that you saved us, said Little Red Riding Hood. Granny, too, thanked the hunter for his kindness. When the wolf woke up, he was so shocked or surprised to see all the people before him he, that he ran away and he was never seen again. Good! That is a bad guy! Little Red Riding Hood sat down great. with her grandmother and the hunter, and together they ate the cakes Little Red Riding Hood had brought. And Little Red Riding Hood said to herself, After this, I shall always do as my mother tells me. And I shall never leave the path again, not even to pick pretty flowers. So what lesson did she learn? To not pick pretty flowers. What lesson did she learn? Cora, thank you for raising your hand. You can watch you walking on the path. To listen to her mother. Good. So why? Let's remove, let's think back. Let me stop it.